hi everyone in this tutorial first of all we will discuss swiss army knife so what is the swiss army knife of streamlit and that is write function so st dot write function let me write it first st dot w r i t write okay and now this function basically allow us to implement our coding to implement our json to implement our latex implement our markdown so this is a swiss army knife so it allows us to do bunch of different things so it doesn't only write our text but it also allow us to add different stylings to our text okay like for example uh if i want to apply markdown okay so i just need to write here these double quotes and i will say uh, if i want to apply uh, h2 tag okay so just put these two hashes okay and then i will say um, h2 okay and save it and rerun it and yeah this is my h2 tag okay so i have written my this markdown with the help of write function okay and you can uh, print your json data you can print your coding okay so this is a swift swiss army knife okay so you can play with this uh, st dot write function and just go to the official documentation of streamlit and see how we can play with this write function okay and now uh, the most important things that i will discuss in this tutorial is the table function uh, the data frame function and the matrix function okay so uh, first of all uh, let's discuss the matrix function okay so matrix function basically allow us uh, to display a matrix or uh, what i say uh, the different types of values okay so you will understand it uh, when we will write some matrix here okay so write here st dot m e t r i it's matrix okay and now this matrix function basically takes uh, three very very important uh, arguments and the first one is the label okay and the next one is the value and the next one is the delta which is actually the change in the value okay so let's write here and maybe a label is equals to and if i want to uh, print uh, the wind speed okay so i will write here w i n d wind s p w -E d speed okay and the value of my wind speed is maybe 120 meter per second okay so ms minus one but how i can put this uh, minus one uh, as a superscript of this s okay and for this purpose uh, we will use a vs code extension so just go to the extension store okay and you need to install this fast unicode math corrector so i have already installed it so just type here fast unicode math corrector okay and then after the installation of this extension uh, you just need to before this uh, minus one you just need to write here this sign okay and then this uh, this sign okay uh, i think it is called carrot okay and you need to hit enter but make sure that your cursor should be after this one okay and hit uh, not enter hit tab okay and this will make your this minus one as a superscript of this second okay and now we need to write here delta as well sorry the lt delta is equals to uh, which is actually the change in the value okay and let's suppose that the change is 1.4 meter per second okay so slash then carrot sorry carrot and then minus one then tap okay and just save it and rerun it and yeah uh, this is how our matrix work okay so we have this label which is wind speed we have the value and we have this delta okay which is the change okay so if i put here minus one uh, you will see a change in the color and the change in this arrow direction as well okay so just save it rerun it now the color of our change is different which is red and the direction of the arrow is uh, towards downside okay so this is how this matrix function work and now let's discuss table and data frame function but before i discuss table and data frame function uh, you need to create a data frame okay and the the easiest way to create a data frame is to use pandas libraries if you doesn't have pandas library you just need to uh, type uh, pip install pandas on your terminal and this will install pandas library and then you need to write here imp import p a n ds pandas as 
pd or pd okay and i will set the abl table is equals to pd dot uh, data frame okay data frame and uh, i will go with one of the most simplest table and that is to use a uh, dictionary okay and i hope that uh, almost 99 percent students will know uh, what is dictionary okay so just put this parentheses first of all i need to define my value and i will say c o l u m and column one this will be my column one okay and uh, i inside this column i need to define my values so i will say like uh, maybe one two three four five six seven okay and uh, now let's create a second column as well okay right here c o l u m and column two okay and then the value for this column and i will say like uh, 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then 17 okay and now here i just need to create first of all let's create a table and then a data frame okay so right here st dot t a b l table okay and uh, my table will be this table okay so t a b l table save it and rerun it and yeah this is our table and this is how our table will look like so these are all the indexes okay and this is my column one okay and this is my column two so if you know about pd you can define the uh, indexes or the index heading and your custom indexes using this data frame okay make changes in the properties of data frame and you can customize your this table as well okay and but uh, but i will not jump into that much detail because it is related to pandas okay and we are learning a streamlit series okay so now uh, the final thing which i will discuss in this tutorial is this uh, st dot data frame okay so there is a difference between a table and a data frame okay and uh, actually a table is just like uh, a static table while data frame allow us to short our values okay and you will see it when uh, we will print here our data frame okay so now i will pass the same table inside the data frame as well save it and uh, let's redo it okay sorry redone it uh, okay so uh, this is my table while this is my data frame okay so what is the difference and the difference is that uh, if i click on this arrow you will see that it allows me to short these values okay so if i click on this now uh, the order of uh, these values is from higher value to a lower value and if i again click on this now the order of these values is from lower value to a higher value okay and you can uh, play with this column too as well okay you can change the order okay and this is how data frame and table looks like so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye